All right, fam, welcome back to Keeping the Comic, and we're picking up here on the final issue of this Blood Hunt tie-in, Wolverine's Blood Hunt. And we finally get some clarity on why Maverick has been working with Alyssa, which confirms what I said all along. And then we also get to see Vampire Wolverine in action. I still don't like Vampire Wolverine, but seeing him in action was pretty dope. Now we pick up back here in Santa Cruz Island in California, where Wolverine had just come face to face with his old pal Maverick and Alyssa, the head of the Siren sect of vampires. Now, due to Wolverine, who had just voluntarily been turned into a vampire by his friend Louise, Alyssa being the seductress vampire that she is, she can now control Wolverine's desires. And of course, the first act that she wants, that Wolverine's new queen wants, is a test of combat, aka Wolverine the killing Maverick. Because as she puts it to Wolverine, Maverick stands in the way of their glorious future together, which is messed up, man, because she was saying the same thing to Maverick a little bit earlier on. Now, Wolverine gets those claws going slicked, and starts charging after Maverick. But in the meantime, Louise with her fine self in that damn suit. Sorry, y'all, my bad. She was on a whole nother mission, right? Which was to get into the control hatch of this place. But to get there first, she had to take out some of these vampire soldiers that were there guarding the door. Now, once she does that, she blasts through this part of the cave that leads her right to the heart of the compound. Now, this is all a part of Wolverine's plan in the first place, just to let you know. Now, right as she's about to shoot her gun again, like a stake directly into the heart of the compound to shut everything down, she gets shot a couple times by some of the soldiers that were coming in, coming in after you know she had entered in. But due to like Logan's blood that is now inside of her body, she has this like accelerated healing factor, which makes her able to heal from those gunshot wounds pretty fast. Now, in the meantime, we jump back here to Maverick and Wolverine. They're still throwing blows at each other while Alyssa's just there like, yeah, let's do it. Come on, guys. I'm, I'm kidding. That's definitely not what she is saying. She's basically egging on Wolverine to kick his ass. Now, Maverick starts to realize that Alyssa is no longer in his head or as Alyssa calls it she no longer is whispering sweet nothings that he wants to hear anymore ironically though Wolverine is like yeah she's only talking to me now bub and I'm like Wolverine you, you going along with this you okay with this right here being controlled by Alyssa I'm still not feeling it y'all I'm still not okay with Wolverine being a vampire okay now Maverick is trying to explain to Wolverine that this is all wrong but Wolverine is just out for blood and even says, it feels right to me. Even mocking Maverick saying things like this, all this pathetic whining as he like punches him directly in the face. At one point he asks him, what's eating you, buddy? In other words, he's basically asking the question like, what's really bothering you? To which Wolverine mocks him again and says, what, you found someone that you thought could really love you, huh? Because the truth is Maverick seems to have really loved Alyssa Although I kind of feel like it was just because of her seductressness. That's the reason why. But listen, what the heck do I know? Now, Maverick is trying to help Wolverine understand that, listen, just how I have been fooled, she's also fooling you as well. And at one point, Wolverine does in his mind acknowledge that like what he's doing doesn't really feel right. But before he could really like lean into those thoughts, Alyssa takes control back. And once again, Wolverine is positioning himself to be able to take out Maverick. But right before he could finish the job, right, the command center breach alarm starts going off and Alyssa then beckons to Wolverine to go check it out, which then give Maverick an opportunity or gives Maverick an opportunity to escape. Also, guys, if you've been enjoying these videos so far, please consider subscribing to the channel here. Hit that notification bell and also join the discord so that you can get more updates here from the channel. Also, if you're liking these videos so far, be sure to let YouTube know by hitting that like button for the good old algorithm. So back at the command center, right? We see one of the vampire soldiers that Louise hadn't fully taken out yet. So he was the one that pressed the button and then started getting this alarm going off. So then Louise makes sure to remove his head from his body once and for all. But then Wolverine comes in charging after her, to which... Alyssa acknowledges that Wolverine seems to have affections for Louise and he sees her or she sees her as competition. Now, Alyssa also mentions how she was impressed by Louise's reflexes and being able to get out of the way of Wolverine's charges, 
which once again is most likely due to Wolverine's blood being inside of her. She probably also developed, you know, developed some more quickness and agility and speed as well. Now, Louise knows that Wolverine's mind is not his own right now because she knows of Alyssa and knows that she's the leader of the Siren sect. So she knows like the powers that she has. So just like in the last issue here, Louise, once again, like she stabs Logan in the stomach. And I was like, man, this dude has just been getting beat up for the last two issues. And I kind of feel bad for him. But the reason why she stabs him is just so that his healing factor could activate and that to be able to get the vampire enzyme out of him and then to be able to break that spell that Alyssa has on him, which, um, like I said, it's just it's just hard watching Wolverine go through all this in the past two issues. It's been a lot. So this pisses off Alyssa, right, who then turns into this. Well, she goes full on ugly ass vampire mode on Louise. There is actually this really dope visual of both Alyssa and Louise who are kind of like floating in the air and fighting at the same time while like Wolverine is trying to like heal and pull out Louise's sword out of him at the same time too. Kind of a dope ass visual here. Now, although the sword is finally out of Wolverine, his healing factor still needs to fully kick in in order for him to be able to kind of get going. It's been a long 24 hours for this guy, okay? And in the meantime, Alyssa has Louise pinned down and it looks like she might win this one. And boy, I just cannot overlook how ugly Alyssa looks right now. This is one scary ass looking scene. But Louise, she got this though, right? She pulls out one of those trusty stakes and then she stabs Alyssa in the heart with it, which immediately turns her into dust. And then right at the end of it all, Maverick shows up again saying, till death do us part, which I thought was kind of funny. Now, Wolverine is still all pissed about him working with Alyssa in the first place, to which he lets Wolverine know, I did it for love, Logan. He explained that she came to him to offer him a job initially, and then she turned him instead. And then he's kind of just been, you know, kind of, falling for it ever since now the good news is because Alyssa is dead maverick is also now free from the blood curse as well now in the aftermath of this here wolverine's old cia pal banister lets him know that they are in the clear and at least on this island they are good and that his super duper pals know that they still need some help because remember there is a main blood hunt storyline and we saw the avengers lining up in issue number four of blood hunt so it looks like the tides are turning you know for the overall heroes here now wolverine reminisces on how Alyssa's control was so strong and that he basically understands how maverick felt and why he was still so drawn to Alyssa. louise lets logan know that she needs to head back to savannah because she's been in this world too long and her vampiric urges are becoming harder to resist but before they part wears there is or did i just say part wears part ways there is one last thing for them to do which is to have one last kiss and i'm like logan get your hands off my it's it's fine logan you you, you get to have this win so this is the conclusion here of wolverine blood hunt the tie-in story if you've been following this whole series what were your thoughts on this entire thing here personally I'm still not a huge fan of the whole Wolverine turning into a vampire thing, but overall, I have actually enjoyed the story. I'm a big Wolverine fan, so, you know, I'm going to try anyways, right? I'm always going to enjoy some of these stories. Uh, so like and subscribe here for more on the channel. Join the Discord. The rest of the videos from this series are going to be in the description of this video and also in the playlist. And as always, guys, thanks so much for kicking it with Keeping the Comic.